quite 70 cows in there they might have been so that one we'll actually have to pull back in and re and do but we're trying to get all this stuff done now because i've been cutting hay the past uh week so i've got four four circles to bail My horses doing their business and i was hoping to have a full week where i could bail it uh, today's, today's Friday. I was hoping to be able to start bailing Monday night. I was going to finish cutting Monday. And the guy I do silage with just texted me and he's saying that three of the circles that we do in Dalhart will be ready this week. So I'll have to move my swather down there and I'll have to cut down there in the day and bail at night. And just won't be any sleep at all, but I don't get done. So. That's just how life is right now, but my wife and I are actually going up to, uh, she works for a university, and so she is going to go do a presentation on her master's that she just got, and even if she wasn't doing it for her master's, we'd still be going for her job, so... We are going to uh, a meeting in Oregon, and she's actually far enough along. I don't think, she, pretty sure she can't fly. So it's going to be a two-day drive up there for us, and we're going to spend three days there, and then two two days on the way back. So we're going to go up through. Oh, we're going to go up to Wyoming, then. Utah, then Idaho, and then on across to Bend, Oregon. I think it's Bend. Bend or Bent. It's in the middle of the middle of the mountains. And then we are going there down to Nevada where she worked for a while. And then home. So yeah, that's what what we're gonna do, and that's gonna be like the Second week of June, third week of June. Now it'll be it'll be the second week of June. Second and a half, something like that. So we're gonna take that trip, go up there. That'll be all right. I'm dick and all. But uh, yeah. So we've got to get things done because silage could last stretch on for another week and then we'll need to finish branding and you know that's when that happens we're just going to be really button up to when we got to go and if anything comes up we just we want to have the time uh because usually i don't brand any pastures until after we do our silage cutting 
and so this year we're we'll have a good chunk of them done we're gonna do three pastures this week actually yeah we'll do three pastures this weekend we did two last weekend and two before that so I'll have lots of little groups left to do um, you know we'd be another hundred head or so 100, 150 head, but they'll be all in little bitty groups, and so that that'll be okay. We can do that. Just but while I've got help, I'll get all the big pastures gathered and done, and hopefully we don't miss too many calves, and we don't have to catch up this fall. But that's just how this year worked out. So.